Hi, I'm Marilyn Alice. You don't have to always travel too far to find really interesting reference material. I found these three hens on my doorstep just five minutes away from my home. Right, the first thing I need to do is to get the background on. It's quite a big area and I want to keep it very simple. So I'm going to make some washes up and mix plenty of wash because we don't want to run out halfway through. If you start to put a wash on and then you have to mix more, what you can find happens is you get great big cauliflowers appearing. So I'm mixing some raw sienna and a little bit of alizarine crimson into that. And then we're going to have some French ultramarine. I'm putting a lot of water into that and into the French ultramarine. I'm putting some burnt umber and some cadmium yellow. And to make the background a little bit interesting, at the moment on my reference material it's just a piece of plain grass. I'm going to put a diagonal of the raw sienna and the lizarine crimson through the middle. Taking that right down to the corner. And now I'm putting in the mix of green, which is French ultramarine, cadmium yellow, and burnt umber. And then again above that. Because of the good point, I can just paint around the hens. I'm not going over them, I'm just taking the background up to them. Where the tail feathers are, they're quite dark, they can be painted straight over. Just get that on with a great big brush. I'm using a whopper brush and put it on as quickly as you can. Just check that you've gone right up to the edges. And whilst that's still wet, just use a toothbrush. I'm using some French ultramarine, quite thick. And I'm just going to splatter a little bit. And then with some alizarine crimson as well, which just adds a little bit of texture. And now we need to leave that to dry. The next stage is to complete the hens. Now they're very grey on my reference material, so what I'm going to do is to use some intense violets and some French ultramarines just to really liven them up. So we'll start with an intense violet for the first one, and I'm looking at where the shadows are on him. I'm just painting those in to start with. I'm using a big wash brush. A little bit more pigment where it's darker here. I'll see a little bit of colour on him, so we'll add some raw sienna just to break it up a little bit. And back to the intense violet. And I'm just going to mix some burnt umber into that as well just to try and darken it a little bit. And I'm just really filling in take off some of the pigment and with a lighter band here where the sunlight's hitting him. Whilst that's still damp, I'm going to mix some Prussian blue and some sepia. Very thick with very little water. 
just blend in some of those towel feathers. Right, now whilst that's drying, we go on to the next 10. That's going to be French Ultramarine with a tiny bit of intense violet, but I want it to be slightly different as they're next to each other. So French Ultramarine, tiny bit of intense violet mixed in, and a little bit of burnt umber. And the same thing, look for the dark shadow areas on there. dark underneath and there's a band of a medium tone just running through the middle just make that slightly lighter and same thing mix in that Prussian blue and sepia into the towel and then the final hen we'll start off with a little bit of um, French ultramarine mix and then take it into mauve Tiny bit of raw sienna, I'll just use a different brush to pick that up. And then the intense violet. Into the Prussian blue and sepia. I'm just looking for any very dark tones I can see just to pop in now. Right, I need to let that dry now and then do a few dry brush marks. But now we're ready to put the feathers on on the combs and also the feathers around the neck. I'm going to use an all-rounder brush, which is my smallest brush, and I'm making a thick mix of Prussian blue and sepia. It's very, very thick, hardly any water, lots of pigment on there. And I'm just looking at where the feathers are flowing and I need to pick out the movement of the feathers so that my paint is running in the same direction. Just picking out some of the bottom ones as a guide. We'll just work our way through all of those first of all. You notice with these two hands, on the original photograph they're quite close together and I've just separated them a little bit to make the composition look a little bit more interesting. Final hen. 
just keep looking at the way the feathers are going. And you don't have to put in every single one, but just get the gist of the movement. And just tidy up some of the tail feathers. That's what we put in before was quite sort of, it was blending with the other colours. Now we just want it a little bit more definite. Now we're putting the feet. I'm going to use a mixture of alizarine crimson and some sepia. and a little bit of light red. On my reference material, the feet are actually buried in the grass, but I'm just putting them in because I think that makes it look a little bit more interesting. <laughs> 